presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robin, how you doing, man? Yeah, good. Thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information yesterday on a small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family and if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So That's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks, and a great week. And check it out, folks, okay? We're going to have to check this out. So my grandson, Tommy, Tommy's son, right? He is growling like amazingly right now. We were growling and prowling all morning long. He has it down pat. I mean, Pat, it's a beautiful thing. Be impeccable with your word. Re replace fear with love. The human mind is like a fertile ground with seeds that continue being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only the fertile for the words that come from love. This is a great card, man. You either live in love or live in fear. And I've done both, folks, and let me tell you something. It's a lot easier living in love. You know, we all go through these trips. There's no doubt about it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 241, Nasdaq up 228, SP's up 53, gold contract up $5.80, traded 1833 an ounce. We got silver up 7 cents, $23.27 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 18 cents, $89.54 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note up five ticks, 126.23. The 30 year up 13 at 153.06 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 131 ticks, trading 95, 512. Euro is 114. The yen is at 115 and a half, and the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. Let's go into the futures first because this has been a heck of a day. They're running the market, there's no doubt about that. Um, we have a n big contraction of volume happening here. So this is going to get really intriguing watching how the CPI is going to come out tomorrow and how the reaction is to it. I mean, it's going to be a hot CPI, man. But let's get into where this S&P is right now. So what we just had, last two 10-minute bars, we just went down, you know, uh, what, 12 S&P points. What you have there, you get volume behind the move. So right there, what is that, 45.54 yeah, 45.54 is game. That's that's this morning. That's how this is setting up right now, you know. And, you know, it's only 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So the bottom line is that we'll see how that shakes out. But you get an expansion of volume. Right now you're at, uh, that's 10 minutes. So that bar just finished. The first bar, meaning 10 of 3, we had 26,000 contracts. We just did 35. 35 is going into 19 going into 41. So the, the bottom of 41, and it, I suspect it will get there, is that's another 11 bucks lower. So we'll see how that shakes out. But that's where it looks like it wants to go right now. NDX 100. Let's go take a look at the NDX. Bring the NDX up. You're up 241 points right now inside of the NDX. Okay, so bring this one out. Okay, so same setup in the NDX. The difference in the NDX, now this is going to get cool. The difference in the NDX, this is kind of nice actually. Um, I suspect we're going to go down about another 30 points. But it's going to be really hard for the NDX to get under the futures. This is 14,951. We're at 981 right now. I expect it's going to try to make a run for it. And what that is, that was the open bar out here today. And then we had another bar right underneath it. 
with 18,000 contracts. Yeah, we only did 11 on the way down. So we'll see where it shakes out, man. Gold. Gold contract out here has price. <clears throat> Excuse me. We need volume, man. That's the real bottom line. This is, uh, we're going to do probably about 130,000 again, and that's not a lot of volume. Uh, so this thing's going to get uh, pretty wild out here tomorrow morning when that CPI comes out. Uh, right now, you're up six bucks. You're at 1833. And, um, you know, we'll see whether, you know, we can get an expansion of volume. You know, it's, it's going into the downdraft. The downdraft uh, was pretty extensive, though, meaning you're going into 150,000. Uh, notes and bonds. So the 10 year note is on a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. You're up four ticks today. And what that's all about, folks, there are buyers of bonds. I mean, in a monster way, too. Um, that auction this morning, it was a very um, successful auction. Uh, it went off, 10 year notes went off at 1.904. And, uh, you know, the bottom line is that you had $2.6 chasing every dollar. Um, the biggest part of this is that these were direct issuers, folks. Um, you know, you have the large banks, um, basically, are licensed by the Fed. Um, you know, they can, they can, as dealers, and they have to buy so much. But everyone else can come in direct. And when they come in direct, okay, the bottom line, you're going right to the Treasury. Um, they, had a, they had a big number out here today. There's no doubt about, no, no doubt about it. Um, it was... That's what, what was most of the buying. And with, where that comes in, that comes in with trust funds, hedge funds, states, countries, okay, straight right in, you know, so it's, it's, it's a big number. There's no doubt about that. And no shots on YouTube. Well, you got them now? You got them now. Okay. Um, some of the, oh, let's go to the dollar. So CPI is coming out in the morning. This is going to basically shake things up a little, even... You know, it seems like we're going to get a hot CPI. Uh, King Dollar here, been laying out down the first leg down. So we'll see whether King Dollar is going to do a monster ABC structure on the way down. Um, you know, the B point out here is a 95, 137. Uh, if we go over to the Euro, we take a look at the Euro, just the opposite of the U.S. dollar, of course. And, uh, you know, we'll see. The, the Euro already broke its consolidation. You know, we, you broke the top of the consolidation at that 113. You're at 114. 26 right now, and the pound. Let's go look at the pound. So the pound is flat out here today. Hmm, interesting. The pound looks like it wants lower price, actually. Yeah, this, this failed the whole price today at 135, so it looks like it's going back to 134. We'll see how that baby shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, and it looks like it's going to be a low volume day, because when we come back, I'm going to go to Jose and Lakeland first, uh, but the Dow, when you look at the Dow numbers, meaning the volume, the Dow's taken out the B point and it doesn't have the volume for an ABC structure, confirmed ABC structure up. It doesn't mean it won't go higher, it just means it would have been a lot easier if it's an ABC structure confirmed. You get NVIDIA up 13 bucks, you get uh, Uber up a buck 67. We have Exxon off 40 cents. Uh, PayPal's up two bucks. You got uh, Advanced Micro up 357. And Facebook, Facebook finally caught a bid. Up 11.78. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industries right now, 236. You get the NASDAQ up 212, S&P's up 51. And, uh, you know, we've been talking to ABCs, folks, and one of the Tigers just turned me on to, and the Tigers down here, the SMHs are in an ABC structure up, confirmed. You're taking out the B point today. That B point out here had uh, 5.9 million shares. You're doing 8.5. Uh, you're trading 286. That's an ABC structure up, confirmed to 300 bucks. So that's a start because the bottom line is that when the SMHs want to go NDX 100, the SMHs take the NDX 100 up. Let's go to Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Greetings from quaint village of Carr. Hey, Tom. Tom, not to worry. Uh, Mary Daly was on CNN last night, and she said if we can get uh, uh, supply and demand under control, we're looking at 2% inflation rate back to 2% within a year. You know, what's amazing, I, I heard that interview, and folks, <laughs> it's like so bogus, it's unbelievable. I, 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 it, that, I don't even know how they can basically, you know, think that you're going to go from 65 to 7%, and we're more than likely 20 or 30%, yeah, back down to fanciful, 2 and fanciful at best. Yeah, it, it doesn't happen. And, and she, you know, I, I heard the end of it, too. She says, yeah, well, that means the supply line got... What has happened, folks, my take on this, we've already, everything's already kicked in price-wise. Now the reality is that, okay, they, they may say that, okay, inflation, let, let's say, and this will be six or eight months from now, that, yeah, they get inflation to 2%, but they got inflation to 2% after everything went up 30%, <laughs> right? Right, right? Yeah. Well, Tom, the only believable thing she said was, it's nice to be here. I love it. Yeah, no, I, that was that was. I was surprised that she was actually on. I mean, I hadn't I hadn't heard any of these Fed people on just regular radio. Do you know what I mean? It's like okay. She's the uh, CEO of the Federal Reserve in San Fran. Yeah, right. right. Um, Tom, this this Putin's a cagey one. Cagey, cagey. He he's got the whole world thinking his beef is with the UN when it's all about. Controlling natural gas pipeline and, and, and the go-to guy for Europe when it comes to natural gas. He's a cagey one. Can you can you imagine? Like, you know, listen. You know, bottom line, Jose's got a huge point here, folks. Okay, because well, you know, you know what's so weird, man, in life right now, it's blowing my mind that it seems that people just don't think things through. It's like, okay, can you imagine his position? In Europe, he's got them lock, stock, and barrel, man. I mean, when mm -hmm. when you have forty to sixty percent of the gas to keep warm, 
Forget it, man. I mean, they're they're all dreaming. Particularly, the thing with it blows my mind about this whole Germany thing. It's like, okay, so you just you know you're gonna be under his fist forever. It's like crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen this kind of smoke screen since the Palestinians told, told Israel, oh, it's, it's just about land. We just want your land. No, they want them off the face of the planet. Big smoke screen. This is a chess game, and this is like Star Trek chess with the three levels. This yeah, is, I know, is, and you know, hopefully nothing's going to fly, but I, I think he's already got them, meaning that if you're gonna, he can just drain them from the, from the, the price of gas, man. That's the, that's yeah. the reality. Geez, Tom, can you make some phone calls and get this caterpillar back in its range? This thing is a dog. What's going on with this? Let's, let's take a look. You get caterpillar, lows 186, the highs 246. The next time they come out with numbers are in April. Okay, so, yeah, we need some juice here, man. Yeah, I mean, I can't wait till April. Ma needs that electrolysis for that mustache <laughs> thing she's gone on, on her upper lip. I told her yesterday she's been called sir for the last time. I need a successful trade here. Oh, man. Well, we need some juice, man. I mean, you, you know, we this is it. This, it came down. Okay, so it's coming down to 23 million. We did 20 million. Yeah, it's going to have to build some cars for a bit here, man. That's how it's set up. And you know how this goes. The, the cause is the sideways movement. There's going to be a lot of flack at this 220. That's a, that's how this comes down, man. You know, because okay. of the way that uh, comes down. Uh, uh, shifting gears, Cadence got a kind of a big day today. Uh, the SMHs confirm maybe the NDX continues all week long. Where can Cadence go? Can it get up to the 160 this week? CA. What is the it? volume? What was that symbol again? CA. CDNS. Thank you. I should know that by heart, shouldn't I? For sure. Yes. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you need um, a little. You need a little more juice, that's for sure. But I like what happened yesterday, man. I don't know what happened yesterday, but that's that's a big buyer. See that yesterday? Two million shares. Ooh, I like that. That's someone stepping in there, man. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think your next step up here, I mean, you get 160 in, on the sites, 153 you're at right now. I got you. Good deal. Thank you. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. My phone number is 877-927-6648. The, uh, let's go take a look at the uh, X, well, here, one second. Yeah, we'll, no, we'll do the Qs first because this is going to get really tricky with the CPI coming out, right? I mean, the whole world knows it's going to be a high CPI. So the B point has 78 million shares and you've done 42. Now, this is the cool thing. So watch, we'll set it up both ways. The cool thing inside of the NDX is that we don't have the volume. That being said, though, you're actually not even close to the swing because the swing is five bucks away inside the, the QQQ. And that, that's a good setup. The what's going to get interesting in the Dow is this. Okay, so watch this. H M M V M V O L N E. So right now we've done five hundred and thirty million on the Dow Industrials. Um, if we get uh, a billion shares, you have a confirmed ABC structure on the way up inside the Dow Industrials. You know, it's not in the diamonds, but we'll see how this shakes out. Now, realistically, I don't think we're going to do another 500 million coming into the close. But that's always kind of a toss up as you come into the close. You know, normally, if we had about 650 there right now, it, it'd be a lot easier to do that kind of number. Let's go take a look at some of the, <coughs> excuse me, folks, higher, higher volume. Well, no, let's do the XAU and the HUI right now. So XAU. That baby right now is trading out at uh, 131.37. It gave up the 132 price point out here. Let's just see what kind of volume we had yesterday. Well, it wasn't bad. Okay, yesterday was 23 million. The day before was 24. You're going into 34, though, and you go into 31. You can see we still need more and more volume, man, and these uh, XAU and the HUI. Uh, we take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. Right now, this is down a buck sixty-eight. 
And yesterday you did 17, day before 18. We're going up to 26. Yeah, we need a real spike here. And you can expect that you're going to get some action uh, out here tomorrow when that CPI does come out. Because I, I suspect the CPI is going to be 6 or 7 again. I mean, that's where it seems to, you know, I mean, that's pretty easy. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 250. You got the NASDAQ up 226. SP's up 53. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now, 299. You get the NASDAQ up 260. S&Ps are up 63. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness, where the movers are here. You got, uh, looks like it's going to be uh, United Health uh, putting 38 positive points, Microsoft 26, Disney 29, Goldman 29, taken away from it. Amgen a minus 13, you got uh, Coke minus 5. Let's go over to Disney. So uh, is Disney coming out with numbers here? Let's take a look. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Let's take a look. Okay, so Disney's coming out with numbers. It's up 448. It's got, it's got some juice, that's for sure. They're going to be looking to do 20 billion to the top line and 57 cents to the bottom line. They must be going to have a lot of expenses in here because what you have here is that uh, the you can see the uh, ratio 
uh, earnings per share has gone down. It goes down pretty much. And then it pops back up next quarter to 124. So let's take a look at this technically right now. Oh, look at this. Oh, we got an ABC up. Okay, hold it. Here we go. Okay, 144. 120, I'm going to call it 130. 14, 153. Was 153. Okay, 153 is game. That's how this is looking. It's taking away the B point today. You get, your B point has uh, 8.5 million shares. It's doing 11.6 million shares. That's going to get you back inside the range. That's how this. Well, you know what's going to be interesting here, folks? Whoa, baby. Hold it. Watch this. Oh, man. This will be a trip. This could be a monster island bottom. Uh, yeah. If you get. So. The way this is set up, right? Now, Disney's been on a one-way trip on the way down. You know, you bring this back to January of uh, 2021, it was at uh, $203. That, yeah, 203 bucks. That being said, if Disney comes in with the numbers, it looks like it's an ABC up. If it comes in with it and then it gaps higher tomorrow, that is a monster island bottom. That's how that's set up. So that would be saying quite a bit. We'll see where that uh, is shaking out, but... That, no doubt, let me just see, D-I-S, not quite, I forget, like, uh, yeah, so they're going to be coming out right after the market close. Uh, X-L-F, now, this one is dangerous, folks, let me show you something with this one. This is not an ABC structure up on, on a, a weekly basis to answer the question of a couple of the tigers out here, but I want to show you something, because this is actually... You have, I'm on the weekly basis here, okay? And the reason it's not an ABC up first off is this. It, it took out a swing point with volume. So I'll show you the, the swing that it took out with volume. There's no doubt it took it out with volume. We did, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> 320 million shares on the weekly versus 223. But the definition of an ABC structure up or down goes like this. The way up is that you go up with volume, you pull back with light volume, and you go up with volume. You can see that we didn't pull back with light volume. We pulled back with monster volume twice. You pull back the day, the week of the, the 1st of December as well as the week of the 28th of January. That's telling me that this thing's going to fail up here and we're going to come back downtown probably into that $35 area. And right now you're 41. Now, the XLE is a different ballgame. The XLE is in a monster ABC structure on the way up. That this is on a monthly. This is a, this is one beauty, man. I mean, I, I believe this is on a month. Yeah, it's on a monthly. So this is on a monthly. Um, yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> That's the bottom line. It, well, yeah, the most conservative. I guess I got to do it this way. It's forty-five. Was well, a fifteen point A to B. Yeah. So it's finished one ABC structure up already on a monthly. That's what it's done. Um, MU. So let's see what we got here with. Uh, this is Micron Tech, up 434 right now. This one here, this has some nice juice behind it. Yeah. Yeah, this blew away the B point with volume for sure. Uh, 85, you're at 88. You need 19, 19 million. You get 16 right now. So you need three more million. And uh, we'll see if that, uh, that can do it. Vista Gold, yes. <laughs> Finally, Vista Gold move. Now, if you, if you haven't checked this out yet, I'm going to hopefully get Fred on, the CEO, in the next couple of days. Vista's up nine cents. That's a lot for a 75 uh, cent stock, folks, okay? Uh, bottom line, um, if you want to read something, this feasibility study is one monster feasibility study, folks, okay? Um, the bottom line is that they're saying, so the feasibility study just come out. They, they increased the gold reserves by 19% to 6.98 million ounces. Um, average production is going to be 479,000 ounces. Um, here's, the, here's the kicker. It's like, okay, it's the mine, once it's built, is a 16-year mine life. Um, you're talking about some real money, though, man, meaning um, these numbers with gold at 1,800 is some real you know, return on investment, and that's what they're always looking for because mines 
are so expensive to build, folks, because they're saying that all in cost, let me get this, all in cost was, there it is, all in cost, $928. Now, all in cost there, just so you understand how that works, all in cost is not only, so you have cash cost, which is different than all in cash. The cash costs $817 an ounce. All in cost means that you get the ore out of the mine. Then you come back and fix the mine, as it's stated. That's a good number, man. So we'll see uh, if they can finally get some action going, you know? It's, it's been just laying there. But if you have ever owned Vista Gold, that's how it trades. That's the real bottom line. Uh, always has to. ULTA, Alta Salon. Let's see what we got with Alta Salon out here. Alta Salon, the Tiger wants to know, can it get to uh, 390 by Friday? Okay, so 390 by Friday. You get, you get 376. Your B point is uh, 375. And you get an ABC up. Hey, we're going up. You get an ABC up. So 375, 40. So it's the 30.8 A to B. Gets you. Uh, 387. What, what number are you looking for? Let me see. Oh, man. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Well, so, hey, the, AB, the ABC structure is 387. You need 390. That's the options. I'd, I'd go for it. You know? I mean, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean you can't get a few more dollars. And if that's if that strike... Uh, and what happens with ABC structures, folks, okay? ABC structures are straight line moves. So once you start moving... You go pretty quick. Um, that's kind of how they, that, that, no, that's how they like to move. That is on the way up or on the way down. Because many times what you think, okay, is that, oh, I can't get into this equity. I can't get into this equity. That's when it's doing an ABC structure on the way up. And then you can't get out of this equity. It's, you know, of course, that's when it's basically blasting downtown. Uh, so let's go to the S&Ps because what we had here is that in between me starting the program, you got the pullback. <laughs> this is like wild, man. You're going to love this market, man. You're going to have some fun with this market next few years, folks. So we got the pullback. This is a mind blower. So watch how this went. I mean, this went right to where we were talking about the, the last time with volume, okay? I was talking about this bar right here. The top of that bar is 45.65, and we come down to 45.62. You come down there, see how you come down there with 28,000 contracts? Well, you're going into... 60,000, took off like a rocket ship. Now this thing wants to break topside again. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Excuse me, folks. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 268. We get the NASDAQ up 252. S&Ps are up 59. And uh, COTY. So let's take a look at this. This is pretty cool. One of the top... Tigers brought this up that wanted to look at uh, Ultra, Ultra, where you get this other beauty from manufacturing, Cody, um, who uh, evidently, let's see, yeah, they must have just come out with numbers. So the low here is 647, the high is 11. They just did 1.6 billion, so that's a big number there. Put 17 cents to the bottom line. Okay, interesting. Cody boasts earnings forecast while revenue misses estimates. So this company here has gross product of uh, okay, so they're doing five point three billion. U L T A Alter is doing eight point six billion. Yeah, I think you're going to see, um, let me just, uh, let me, I, T -O -T -Y, I want to see this again, one second, because what this says, because I think I know what this is. Okay, earnings both, well, ref, interesting, no, that doesn't, okay, Cody Boast Earnings Report was a mixed bag for investors. Upbeat forecast and quarterly revenue that missed expectations. The stock with sales increased 12% to 1.5 billion compared to last year. The company said Tuesday in a statement. Analysts surveyed. Cody expects like for like sales for the full year to be at the up end of the guidance. Okay, so check this out. Okay. So what we're going to see, folks, on a continual basis is that well, let's, we'll stay with this one right here because I, I, I know this industry <laughs> bottom line. And the reason, uh, this is like all other industries, okay, that, that what you're going to see is people are raising prices, right? So, meaning because of inflation. Well, you, you can see that we're going to get higher top line numbers. The real question is, can they get higher bottom line numbers? That's where this is going to come down to. Um, and we'll find out, you know, be, because on the beauty product lines, okay, uh, the bottom line is that all these big, uh, you know, manufacturers have gone up approximately seven to ten, ten and a half percent. Uh, Bridget owns a, a, a Nevada salon, and uh, you know, great salon, that's for sure. It's in Clearwater. If uh, any of you folks, uh, it's Salon Gaboa. It's a ph phenomenal. Salon, uh, but when we get from Veda, you know, the upping on prices, the bottom line is that they have been upping on prices about seven to eight um, percent. You know, so right off the bat, you know, you get an ultra and all that. I'm sure everyone is upping the prices, and so your your gross revenue is up. The real question is, can you bring any of that to the bottom line? And then, you know, you get the gist of it. Eight seven seven nine two oh. So hey, let me let me go back to Vista again because this is we gotta we gotta talk about this. So Vista saying, you can see you can see the spike. Okay, nice spike. Five hundred seventy seven thousand shares traded. Um, you know the next step up here 
We're at 80, 86's game, you know, and um, the fundamental aspect of this, now they got to find a partner. That's the real bottom line. Remember when we had Fred on the last time? Uh, they're looking for a partner in order to come up with the bread, you know, to build this mine. So we'll see how it shakes out. But uh, when you look at this fundamentally, you know, what they, this, this, this just came out today too, by the way, folks. Um, you know, it's 16 year mine life. It's, it's a long mine life. So we'll see how this basically shakes out. And um, let's see what he says. Um, he says the strength of Mount Todd's gold production capacity and ability to deliver solid economic results at the time when inflationary pressures have a significant impact on operating mines and development projects alike. Completion um, represents another major step in de-risking Mount Todd, ready for the project for development. The scale, quality of work completed and location of Mount Todd together with the completion of the FS. I gotta find out what the FS is. Feasibility study. Feasi thank you. Feasibility study. <laughs> And uh, the fact that all major authorizations for development have been attained, distinguished Mount Todd is a unique development opportunity. We believe the results of the feasibility study will appeal to many potential partners, investors, and lenders and will allow us to evaluate a broad range of development alternatives as we continue to focus on maximizing shareholder value. Um, yeah, hey, we'll see where this baby shakes out, man. I mean, you know, the. This, so picture what happens. Let, 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 I want to talk a little bit about um, the aspect, folks. If you are into exploration stocks, right? This is how it goes, right? Now, so this is an exploration stock, okay? No revenue. You know, they got about, uh, oh, here, just Tommy would love this, okay? No, meaning that he loves breaking things down like this, which I love hearing, okay? So, so picture this. They have a market cap of $93 million. Now, they have cash of about 15 million in the bank. And it's always like, you know, I always hear them say, well, hold it, man. I mean, if they're saying that this thing's so great and it's only 93 million, why doesn't someone come in and buy it? I, I don't know, but I'm just kind of explaining this as we're going along. What I want you to understand is this. If you get into an exploration stock, what happens is that the price projection, if this, let's picture that if this thing gets hot, that people are actually Find out about it, number one, then go after it, and you have a couple companies going after it. You'll have the expansion of price going up. And then, though, guess what? You want to get out of that equity before they go into production. Because what happens is this. The, as Fred was saying, they're de-risking the project. So as you de-risk the project, you have the pieces of paper, you can do it, you, you climb, climb, climb. Then all of a sudden, guess what? Then you're going to come up with $7 billion. So at that particular point, folks, what do you get? You get a back down, okay? Then you can come back and visit that thing, you know, two or three years later, because then, then it will explode topside in a big way. Mines, you know, take a very long time to build out. Now, that this mine here is a little bit different, and I'll ask him about this when I get him on, because the difference is that the mine was already there. They bought this mine, I think, about 17, 18 years ago. Um, and Australia's a great place to do business, no doubt about that. Um, and they've been working on it for that long. You know, so, uh, well, you know, at gold at 1800, um, that's, that's printing some money, man. There's no doubt about that. You, uh, market wise out here, this wants to close at its highs. It's, it's shaky, but it wants to close at its highs. That's how this is shaking out. Let's go over to the uh, NYSE again for a second, just to see where this is shaking out. Now, you're only at 594. We're not gonna do a billion. The, the encouraging thing here coming in tomorrow, tomorrow morning, though, um, is that the SMHs are doing an ABC structure up. Uh, that will put some juice into the NDX 100. And, you know, we'll see uh, if, in fact, uh, this market wants to run all the way up. What's going to be really cool, folks, is that if it could run the rest of the week, uh, it'll be really tired. And I suspect it'll be close to the highs. It'll have no volume. And then you sell the heck out of it. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow is up 318, Nasdaq's up 285, S&Ps are up 67. Uh, let's go to the gas contract. We had a couple Tigers that want to take a look at the uh, UNG so the UNG trades off the gas contract. Uh, gas contract, you're talking about moving around, man. Last five days, okay, the gas contract goes from a $5.50 to $4. That is a $15,000 move in the futures market, folks. And let me put the volume on this, baby. Come on. Okay, so you're coming into 385. 159,000. It's not bad. Okay, so now let's go look at the UNG. So the UNG here, this baby just went from a high of 1950 or 14 bucks. 1371 is the number. I went to 1379. You know, I would just, I'd let this trade out another couple days, but it's it wants to go higher. You know, this is a this is a Vicious pullback, there's no doubt about that, but you can see the contraction of volume is big. I'd let it try to get into uh, like 1341 or something. Got the 1394 out here today. That's how I'd kind of shake that baby out. Market-wise out here, let's go take a look at this uh, S&P first uh, and see just what type of volumes we are getting as we come into the close into that B point. So you get 74 million. The top of the B point is 458.12. We hit 457. So if we could get if we could get 95 million, folks, 
And you might get this, okay, in, in the next five minutes. You can get 95 million. That's telling me the CPI, no matter what it is tomorrow, it's going to gonna blow away the B point. And remember something, if you blow away the B point, you're going to have that spy up to somewhere about 470. And right now, you're at 457. We do have the SMHs and an ABC structure on the way up. So that helps the NDX 100 in a monster way. We'll see where that baby's going to fly. It's a beautiful thing. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Bam! Look at them, folks.